You know, yeah, yeah. it's true. I mean, it, it's you know. Gotta go to Fitch Lumber. It is. It's it's true. And you know the uh, I don't know the rock and roll. I, I told my parents one time that I, I think it's funny that a it took a rock band to make me a responsible citizen. It totally, <laughs> it absolutely did. I mean, you really. You know, you really have to be organized, and I think the... It's a business. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it is. You know, you're, there is, you know, there's T-shirts to order and CDs to pack and shows to book, and, you know, it's... it's do it you is, have a manager? We do, yeah, we do. Um, and he's, it's been a real loose relationship with, with Pat for uh, maybe the past two years. It really hasn't, it hasn't been formalized, and he's just really been another person in the band that's just kind of helping us out. He's not one of these, you know guys you know with the ponytail and a stogie that says i lived in the valley you know i knew i you know, i worked with them all babe i worked with the mamas and papas me and cass elliott we were like this one time i'm gonna take you guys places you know it's not like that at all he's, he's really he's really uh like a, you know he's like another guy in the band that you know really helps us to grow with the approach you know with the, with the, the speed that, that we want to grow so well it you know. seems like you guys are doing pretty well huh yeah, and and by I I really can't complain, you know, with with where we with where we're at. Um, but how long have you been playing? Oh, it's gonna be uh, four years. Um, really, uh, it's just around the corner. Yeah, I think it's gonna be about about four years now. And this has been the big year for us to really start um, playing out of the area and out of the region. We really right. we've really been touring touring a lot. And um, you know, and the the phrase "doing well," I, I don't want to give the the uh, misconception that by doing well that means doing well financially. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, doing well. Join you know, the club. Yeah, huh? d doing well. Um, just I think from the case of a rock band, just means you know we're um, we're getting out and we're playing for um, for strangers that hopefully become friends soon. And, and fans. Yeah, and fans and fans soon. And so we've done that, but it, it is a constant. It is a constant struggle. Where we're at in other cities around the country is where we were at in Durham four years ago, where right. there's nobody there. You, you know, got to you prove just, yourself yeah, to exactly. a whole new audience. And you just keep on going and you keep on trying. And so by that point, you know. I'm, but I'm, at least you've got that opportunity. That's to exactly do that. right. By doing well, that's what I consider doing well. We have the opportunity to to do this. So, you know, I'm cool. I'm grateful. That's know. great. You gonna play a song? Oh, wait, yeah. you, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. And, and, and unfortunately, for in, in Jason's case, I think is. Their music is so good. Uh, like I, I really believe in them. I, I love them as a band, and uh, it's one of those things that I think if they if enough people took the time to get off the couch to come out to see the show, they'd really, 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 really like it. Right. And they, and they would really kind of feel what you guys are putting Boy, out there. Boy, it's just so easy to lay down on that couch. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Even yeah. if you're only a few blocks away, you know, it's just <laughs> I can't get up. Well, yeah. Uh, Somebody's but it's good gonna when get you up, do. Though. Somebody's yeah. gonna get up, and they're gonna go see it, and they're gonna pull you with them next time, and they're gonna tell their friends about it, and you, you know that's kind of how it works. And God bless the yeah. internet. Yeah, 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 no kidding. I, I needed to see where the balloon people. kid went. The balloon yes. kid. <laughs> I needed to see if he fell out of that balloon. Oh, the balloon kid. Yeah, Beth was telling me about that. I thought it was a joke. Yeah, I did too. Like she, I mean, she was telling me the story, and I'm like, oh, come on, you know, are you are you trying to pull my leg here? <laughs> you know, and she says, no, this is really true. And I was expecting there. There's this punchline where my father-in-law tells this tremendously long story. I mean, it's a really long story, and the whole time he's mentioning this bag. You know, it's like a 15 or 20 minute story, and he he's so talented. He's such a great storyteller. He tells this story. And, you know, in 20 minutes, you'll get you on the edge of your seat waiting for the end of this story. And what's involved with this story is this bag. You know, there's this bag that was left there, and he gets the emotions out of you. I mean, really, he gets you angry, and then he gets you happy, and then he gets you sad, and the whole time he keeps on mentioning this bag. And then he finishes the story, and then drinks his beer, and then you're like, you never told him, what, uh, what's in the bag? And he says, you know, bullcrap, just like the rest of the story. You know, it's all made up. And I was <laughs> expecting him to say, this kid um, in the balloon, it's it's just a bunch of, you know, it's not really true, you know, but, uh, hey. Well, he wasn't in the balloon, he was <laughs> yes, that's true. Yes, 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 that's right. Yeah. Little Timmy's in the attic. Yes, yes. <laughs> or Falcon, I think his name was. Falcon. It, it's like it's like who makes Why this should have up? Just you know, home, huh? it is. It is like a. It's you just can't make this up. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird thing. It's it a weird is. thing. Was he again? That's that's one of the power of the internet. Like yeah. people are tweeting about yeah. it. And there's the balloon kid, and yeah. that's the drama. That's some serious drama. Yeah. Like. like uh, for me, I guess that's what magicians try to create when they hang upside down or stay in water for a while. 
But, you know, a kid trapped in a balloon just flying around in this connotation gets everybody, like, riled up. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Especially, the, you know, it's a kid. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's it's, it's really child. wild. It's, it was a real play of people's emotions. They it was really a hot, it's a hot air balloon, isn't it? Was that what it was? It's like a UFO helium yeah. doodad. Some thing. experiment that his father was creating is this thing to experiment with. Ah. His father's a storm chaser. Uh, yeah, well, there's a lot a, of there's a lot of trailers that blew up from dad's experimenting yeah. with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we need a song. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's see. Uh, what are you gonna play, Jason? Yeah, what are you? Playing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna play uh, radio. How's that? How's that? Now I tend to get pretty loud whenever I sing, so you gotta, you have to man those controls over there. <laughs> Slide the faders down. All right. Uh, before I begin this, uh, I would like to dedicate this uh, to Joe. Uh, if you're out there listening, uh, congratulations. Well, We're glad that you're going to be with us uh, for as long as you want to. And uh, it just goes to show good things happen to good people. Don't stop uh, believing, I guess, huh? 